Hi, I'm Todd Heike, I'm the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well folks, with the past week's weather, it definitely felt a lot more like fall out there, but when you go out there and you look at the lakes and the quality and the clarity of the lakes, it definitely looks like the dog days of summer, and the walleyes and the other fish are kind of acting like the dog days of summer, because honestly it's been quite tough out there the past week. A lot of a lot of guys going out, not many people catching fish, but uh, the guys that are are putting their time in and spending a lot of time changing things up and looking for those active fish and coming away with some decent results. Up in the northeastern part of the state, the guys that have been catching walleyes up there include uh, uh, lakes like Bitter. Uh, that really picked up this past week, a uh, really good bite going on there. A lot of guys pulling spinners uh, with crawlers and, and also leeches. And then Wabe also picked up a little bit, but it also got a lot greener. And then enemy big stone, a few walleyes being caught there. Indian Springs, the best bite early in the morning and then also late in the afternoon. Down the southeastern part of the state, the, the lakes that have been producing walleyes the past week or so continue to do so. Uh, we were on Ponset this past week and uh, we caught plenty of walleyes. You sort quite a bit, uh, you're going to find your fish. So uh, that's the one thing that, that's good uh, about Ponset. Other lakes included Dry Lake by Willow and that's been doing fairly well. Uh, Albert, again by the weed line, seemed to be the best result. Thompson, uh, Sinai and Oakwood, a few walleyes here and there, and then also Madison and 81 Ponds and Twin, basically the same, a few walleyes here and there. Now what have guys been doing to catch those walleyes? A lot of live baiting folks, that's what a lot of people are doing right now, it seems like uh, spinners with crawlers, spinners with leeches. Also the slow death rig has been working really well, whether or not you're talking about just the slow death uh, snell, or are you talking about uh, the Max Smiley blade, uh, uh, Mac, excuse me, Max Smiley Blade Slow Death Rig, and then also the Northland Butterfly Rig has all worked really well uh, this past week. And then as far as the panfish bite is concerned, the, the perch starting to pick up a little bit in some spots. Again, we were on Ponson and did fairly well for perch up there. Uh, and then other lakes include uh, Dry and also Big Stone, uh, and then a few being caught at Thompson and also Sinai. And uh, as far as crappie is concerned, not many being caught, but a few being caught at Ponson pickerel as well as Thompson and what have guys been doing to catch those uh, perch and crappie well we were using the shiny hiney and that worked really well other guys have been also using uh, small tube jigs and you know, coming away with some nice fish as well as far as bait is concerned small pieces of crawler or small minnows and then also wax worms and maggots which we do have both on hand currently here at the store in this week's version of Todd's tackle tips we're going to talk about trying to make it fun for the entire family ie the kids uh, this time of year, folks, it's very tough uh, when people come into me and into our store and ask me where the fish biting to get my fi kids on fish. This time of year, it's just tough with the dog days of summer. And so a lot of times, parents will take those kids out walleye fishing. And honestly, it's a tough time of the year to take them out walleye fishing because even for us, uh, we don't always find the walleye. So it becomes a very long, boring day. So the thing to do is to be prepared to mix it up a little bit. In other words, be out there trolling for the walleyes, whether or not you're pulling plugs or pulling spinners. And if you get a, a, a perch or a crappie or a smallmouth bass, stop and anchor for a while and slip bobber fish and let that kid watch that bobber go down. There's nothing more exciting than watching a bobber uh, drop when a fish is on the hook. So again, don't be so set in your ways that you're going to go walleye fishing the entire day, especially this time of year. Make it a little bit more fun for the entire family and explore the lake by bottom bouncing or pulling plugs, but then when you catch something at that point in time that uh, the kids think would be fun to catch, stop, let them have their fun, and then resume your walleye fishing later on. And that's what we did up at Ponset. Honestly, we used uh, you know, slow death rigs up there, and once we found the perch, we stopped and anchored and caught more. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me, send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. Well folks, before we end this week's report, I want to thank all of you that attended our Christmas in July sales this past weekend. Uh, we had a great turnout and for that I thank you. But I also want to thank you for your support throughout the entire year to say the least. Now let's talk about something a little bit cooler or even colder, folks. It's the 10th Annual Dakota Angler Ice Institute right here in Sioux Falls at the Sioux Falls Arena November 9th through the 11th. 
If you know of anyone that's interested in ice fishing, make sure they attend the event because you're not going to find anything cheaper than attending the 10th Annual Dakota Angler Ice Institute. Again, mark the calendar November 9th through the 11th, the 10th Annual Dakota Angler Ice Institute. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching.